Developing first at six, new details on the murder of a Kelowna woman as police respond to a home early this morning. I'm David Nelson. Paula is off. The victim is identified as 51-year-old Marcy Snyder. Police say the case started as a domestic disturbance. Tonight, 56-year-old Stephen Scott is in the Henry County Jail. He was arrested at the scene this morning and is now facing first-degree murder charges. Police were called to the home in the 1100 block of Oak Drive at around 5.30 this morning. Detectives were there for about nine hours today. TV6's Chris Carter spent the day in the neighborhood talking to neighbors for a story that is new at 6. Chris? Well, David, neighbors tell me that the suspect, Stephen Scott, lived here in this home with his partner, Marcy Snyder. Marcy actually owned the home. They describe the couple as a friendly, outgoing couple. And the news that a homicide occurred in this neighborhood has left the neighborhood rattled. I don't know. I'm in shock. I don't know what to say. Shock for Darlene Rogers as she learns the home of her neighbor and friend, Marcy Snyder, is the scene of a homicide investigation. Total shock can't believe it. You know, the last thing you expect, obviously. Rogers has lived in the neighborhood since 2014, quickly becoming friends with Snyder and the only person charged in the case, Stephen Scott. I just can't imagine what would have happened over there that would have set him off to do that. Rogers says Scott and Snyder lived in the home together. She says that Snyder was the life of the neighborhood, always attending get togethers and helping those who needed it. The couple seemed happy. I'm really upset. I can't believe he did this to her. You know, they seem like such a good, fun-loving couple. Members of the Illinois State Police Crime Scene Investigative Unit and several other law enforcement agencies spent hours at the home Wednesday. As Rogers left for work around 6.30 in the morning, she says Scott was already in custody. I backed out of my garage and there were two police cars over there and, and an ambulance and he was already sitting in the back of the squad car. News of the homicide is still raw for Rogers, who is trying to determine why someone would kill, especially someone like Snyder, who was loved by so many. I can't believe it still, you know, just you don't expect that in your neighborhood. Sure. I don't know what else to say. Still waiting to get... Now, we are still waiting to get more details about this investigation. Police say that it is still an active investigation. David, we are told that we should receive more information in the coming days, and hopefully that will include the cause of Snyder's death. Reporting live in Kelowna, I'm Chris Carter. Back to you. All right, thanks, Chris. And according to online records, Scott is being held tonight on $2 million bond.